All right, my Oak Island fishing friends, I was going to go fishing, but you know what? My reel, my Pen Fierce 2 4000, crapped out on me. Well, what happened was uh, it was like jamming, so I wanted to clean it out, and I took it apart, and I cleaned it out, and I left out a piece. So I was like, oh, no, and I lost it. So um, I took it over to Dutchman's Creek, and they, uh, they hooked me up. I'm going to show you how. And the other thing they did when I was there was I picked up some mole crabs some people call them sand fleas so we're gonna take these bad boys we're gonna go fish and see if we catch something all right let's go fishing well no the reels broke let's go fix the reel all right hey y'all come on out here man we're about to get this thing started y'all know how we do it out here right all right, this is a true Cinderella story. It all starts with me taking a ride across the bridge. I'm going to Dutchman's Creek, bait and tackle. If you don't know where it is, it's over by the airport between uh, Oak Island and Southport. And uh, these people really hooked me up. I brought on my reel, it was broken. And I was like, can you help me fix it? Believe me, I'm going in, the open sign is blinking. I open it up, check this out. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Anyway, they got out three other reels they had that were broken. They opened them up, try to stick those pieces into my reel but the parts wouldn't fit so they were like go to pen reels online which doesn't exist anymore they've changed the name to mystic parts which i'll put the url here so you can go on uh, i went on my ipad when i got home i looked at the schematic for my reel i found the parts i needed everything was in stock i ordered it and uh, i just sat back and was like all right wait for the pieces to come in in the meantime i picked up some sand fleas aka mo crabs they're actually called mo crabs but uh, sand fleas uh, you can catch these in the summer but um I don't know. I've never been able to really figure out how to hook these up. Um, so that's why I've never really used them too much. But I watched a couple of videos online, and this is the way I, I found that seemed to work really well. You stick the hook through the top of the back. Um, you see the little flappy thing? Underneath that are the little eggs in there. And if you get your hook underneath that, just to where the eggs are, the fish want to come eat those little orange eggs. So you get the hook just tap it into that flap and it's gonna hold real tight and I think that's one of the best ways I saw a couple other ways but this one seemed to really work cast it out didn't lose my bait in fact the fish were hitting it and I was pretty excited about that so I caught my first one right away but it was a whiting which is great except for it was like four inches long so uh, I sent him back into the ocean all right they were still tapping at it I pulled up another one didn't even know he was on there got like a little croaker again He's going back in the ocean, but uh, at least they're eating, the, they're eating the bait. That's fine. Cast it out a third time. Yeah, nothing to brag about there. I'm not going to tell my mom about that fish. Anyway, cast it out a third time. Got another one, a little croaker here. And uh, dude, they were just going after it. So I'm like, okay, fish definitely like these sand fleas, uh, but maybe only little fish like the sand fleas, right? Anyway. When I get this thing off, look at how he, he tore that up. He was having a good time on that. And that's a little fish. Imagine what a big fish would do to that. But anyway, he's going back in the ocean. So at that point, you know, with the time change, the sun was starting to set at like five o'clock. I was only down there for like an hour, caught like those three little fish and that was about it. So I packed it up. When I got home today, my Mystic Reel parts were in the mail. So I opened up the box, super excited. Uh, except for there was like a really big box and just a little couple of parts. I thought I was going to put that in an envelope. Anyway, opened it up, plastic bag here, pulled it out, and there were my parts, and there was the part I needed. So I, I opened up my reel. Um, I got out the pieces I needed, including the washer, which I also ordered. And I actually got a couple of screws because mine seemed like they were starting to strip. And I got these little tiny, you can't see this, they're little tiny washer seals so that the water can't get through. Uh, can you see that? Nah, it's invisible. Anyway, I got some of those too. So I opened it up, fit in perfectly. Yes. Excited about that. Threw the washer on there. Yes. So my reel is going to go back together almost put it back together and then remembered mm, need to put some grease in there so I open up my pen angler pack this guy's little double pack here it comes with both the oil yep and the grease which is kind of this green slimy stuff so I threw some of that in there tighten up the screws put the real handle back on tighten that up and look at this oh, I was so excited for 15 bucks I saved that rod and I was like I need to go test this out so let me just go down to the Davis Canal here and just toss it out put on a couple of those sand fleas just threw it wasn't expecting really to catch anything and uh, after after two casts the second cast I got something on the line and I was like super excited because it was really bending that prevail rod I was like hey this is a little bigger than those croakers I was catching down in the ocean so I guess big fish do like the sand fleas all right, so I'm reeling it in. I'm like thinking to myself, wow, how am I going to get this? I don't have a net. I can't I don't have anybody here to help me. The net was like up by the uh, 
up by the house and I was like oh, I don't know how I'm going to get that so I, I was just like oh and then I saw color I was like oh it's a nice big that's a black drum that's like one of my wife's favorite fish that pompano and red drum three favorite fish so I'm like we're getting some fish tacos if I can land this thing <laughs> I just really just pulled them up onto the dock and I was like yeah this is a keeper this is a nice fish right here so I was like yeah big fish do you like sand fleas and there you go I'm like how big is this guy right here let's check it out so I took him over to the cooler and I put him on the little measuring thing there and he was 16 inches so I'm like that's a nice size uh, black drum I think I'm gonna have some dinner out of that and all with mole mole crabs sand fleas give it a try